Hello everyone and welcome to the Elemental Shaman. Uh, changes and reworks for the Alpha. So, I'll be going through the single target talents and changes and then the AoE set changes. So, w some of the changes that I've seen on Ellie is that they're kind of becoming a hybrid class in a way and that you've got so many off heals that you can kind of be like a second healer in a dungeon. So for your first talent, Elemental Blast has been moved up. And Urban Rage, which is the one which is the pillars which come out and hit a target. That is in the same talent tree as well as Exposed Elements, which is a new talent. Which Earthshock now increases the damage of your next Lightning Bolt on the target by 200%. I just take Elemental Blast because obviously that... Um, all the, cr the chance of getting crit haste on Mastery is just too good not to have. Your next talent, which is kind of one where you start start the hybrid starts off is the earth shield protects the target with an urban shield obviously it does the same as it as it done in all the, all the expansions but you can place it on any target regardless so say you have a tank you can just place it on the tank like i'll do it to this hunter just place it on him and there he is he's every time he gets hit he's healing i can just keep that up on the tank your next set ice fury's been moved up from the bottom up to the third tier and they've also increased the damage in 7.1 the damage was 400% like it is now, but then in 7.2 and 7.3 they reduced it down to 300. So it seems they've risen it, but I'm pretty sure they might lower it again because there's no real need to hire it because it was still al already OP at 400. But Echo Elements it's the same. Love Burst now has two charges, but I always take Totem Mastery now because it just the buffs you get from it are just way way more beneficial. Like the, all the buffs, especially the Flame Shock one, is just way too good not to have. Uh, your next one, so Lickman Magma Totem still on the same row. Obviously that's good for AoE, but I still take Aftershock because obviously if I'm saving 30% Maelstrom on a like 75 Maelstrom uh, Earth Shock, I can save that extra Maelstrom I've gained to put it into a Flame Shock and make it deal more damage over time. And again, this is another um, another like hybrid kind of talent tree where you can get Ancestral Di Guidance, which works the same as it does in Legion, which damage you do converts to healing which is obviously another good healing spell just to help the healers out and windrush is on that same one and nature's guardian which just it's kind of like a um just saves you basically if you die and um, the next row primal elementalist high voltage and master of elements for single target master of elements is the best high voltage you obviously want that for aoe because your chain lightning is going to be hitting again afterwards but lava burst increases the damage of your next nature frost or frost spell is just good because if you use just before you use a earth shock you can use a lava burst and that's going to hit super super hard because obviously you've got 20% increased damage but you just need to remember to do that the next ones are just yeah they're pretty much the same ascendance again because unlimited uh, lava bursts but yeah stormkeeper now which is one of the main things is the artifact stormkeeper has become a, a last talent which is just needed it ne you need it for aoe but I'll just show you the rotation for single target for Ellie. It's pretty much the same, just within the added bonus of the totems you get and stuff like that. You just got to make sure. But yeah, so you want to start off every fight with Elemental Blast. So as soon as you start, you're starting off with that that extra haste or mastery. Then you just want to use your Lava Bursts. So now after you've used the Lava Bursts, um, you see the spell, the Earthshock lit up because that's when after every Lava Burst, that's empowered so I want to use it now and the maelstrom I've used to the maelstrom from aftershock I've got I can just use that elsewhere but now I can use after I've that lava burst I can use a earth shock but you can see it lines up quite nicely with your um like every time lava burst comes off cooldown you can just use another full hit earth shock but now when you've got a bit burst a bit of burst to use you can put down your totems which gives you the give you the ads and then you can pop ascendance and just spam your lava bursts and earth shocks you just want to keep spamming it make sure you've got earth shocks still up you don't really be want to be using elemental blast because you just need you just need to spam them spam them lava bursts while you just got them in charges and just keep using earth shocks after every single one just big dps into them and then once that switch you just keep making up you got your elemental blast for that haste and mastery and just use your maelstrom on earth shock as soon as possible and just in the meanwhile, just using the lightning bolt just to keep on the target. Then lava burst as soon as it's off cooldown. Get ready to earth shock again, and you earth shock. 
and then elemental blasts off cooldown. So it's kind of the mixture of the four spells of what it was in Legion, but Earthshock, you can't really use it at any, you can only use it at above 60. So you just want to make sure as soon as you've got 60, you're using it. So as soon as you've got 60, use my Lava Burst so it's empowered by 20%, and just use it again. And then Elemental Blast, so I'll get my Haste and my Mastery or my Crit. And just like that. It's pretty simple, the same as the same as Legion really, but your Earthshock isn't isn't like a set amount from like 60 to 100, it's literally just 60. Which is easier to like, to fle be flexible with your Maelstrom and not predict like, oh this, this Earthshock will take up like 76 Maelstrom. You know that every single time it's, it's taken your set 60. But for um, AoE, you want to be taking your Urban Rage. Because it's damaging spells, and that means like all of your lightning bolts and whatever. And elemental blast, you're not gonna be you literally just wanna be spamming chain lightning all the time to get that maelstrom up. Because it's free maelstrom every single target. You just wanna be spamming it, spamming it, spamming it, spamming it. So you want to take urban rage. And the next one doesn't really matter. Earth shield again, maybe maybe static charge so you can stun. Then for the next one, uh the totems are good again, because it's obviously giving you, you know, and it increases the the chance for lightning and chain lightning to trigger elemental overload which is what you want because elemental overload is what replicates the ability again and again and it's just super good for your next hunt you want liquid magma totem it's just going to be so so good for you if you can get that off and it's hitting all the targets next one's down to you again but obviously for the next one you just want to take you want to take lightning and you want to take high voltage over any of them the rest are just trash compared to it chain lightning can now of course a second Elemental Overload, we've already got the increased 5% of it going to be triggered, and that as well, it's crazy. And now obviously Stormkeeper, charge yourself for Lightning, it just does what it does, but you only get two two charges of it now, whereas on uh, Legion you get three. I think even maybe four, but yeah. So it, it just works basically the same. Ascendance is on cooldown now. So we've got to wait for that. But I'll just show you how what the Elemental Overload is. We'll try and get one, just to demonstrate how good it is. So, because I'm hitting two targets, it means... Oh, I hit four targets, so I got more Maelstrom. But you just want to make sure that you're... You've got Flame Shock on all the targets, because if you get an Insta Lava Burst, it's just really good for you. But see, that's the... Let's get an Elemental Overload, so I can display it. And obviously, when you get Maelstrom on AoE, you want to be using it on the uh, the Earthquake, because it's going to be hitting more than one target. But see, I've now got a Lava Burst proc, and I can put down a... I can put down a Earthquake. But yeah, let me just change my talents now. So I can get the good old Stormkeeper on. You are in combat. Oof. Just refresh my totem so I'm out of combat. Good. So say if you start off a fight, you just want to... I'll take an example of all four dummies because it seems my chain lightning's hitting all of them. So you just want to start off with dot them all up. Put down your totems first, obviously, because it gives you them buffs. Dot everything up. Dot everything up. And then obviously because Flame Shock has a cooldown now, you just wait move into that, put down my magma totem and that's just exploding on all of them and just use my L L my chain lightning over and over put down an earthquake, put down an earthquake and let's see what the new stormkeeper is like so now you want to go into stormkeeper with low um, with low maelstrom because your maelstrom is going to skyrocket with stormkeeper so you still have to channel it and you just go boom 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 Big DPS again, and you're literally at full Maelstrom. That's why you got to start it at, at zero, and just make sure you're just keeping. I'm doing a bad drop at the moment, but you just got to keep up your flame shocks, hitting all the targets with chain lightning, and make sure you're using your instant lava bursts and putting down your dumping your Maelstrom and earthquakes as quick as possible and efficiently as possible. You don't really want to go above 100 Maelstrom, which is you know basics. But yeah, you just want to keep your your flame shock up on loads of targets and just chain lightning, chain lightning, chain lightning. Just keep chain lightning. Magma's off cooldown again. Put down magma. You just want to be keep doing this. And save Stormkeeper for key parts in the fight, like on a high command where you'll have adds will spawn as a set of four every every ten seconds or so. Just save Stormkeeper for that and just bang, 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 bang into them. But that's the basics for Elemental. Mostly it hasn't changed. It's basically the same as legion but just with the added hybrids and the added totems etc and stuff getting a little switch around but yeah at the moment it's 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 cool you're getting the totems back which is just all good and you're kind of becoming a, a second healer in a way which is always good but yeah see you in the next guide like and subscribe